and family and friends still waiting for details in the death of Kaylee Castle. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ann McCloy. And I'm Cody Holyoke. Tonight, demonstrators are trying to put more pressure on investigators still working on Kaylee's case. Craig Smith is live tonight in Fort Edward talking to supporters and the district attorney. Craig? And Cody, we're outside the county office buildings. This was billed as a silent protest, and it was for a few minutes, but then the DA came out. There was a lot of kids in that house. Who's held accountable? Does anyone know what's going on with all of those kids now? Is anybody keeping track of these kids? We don't want to see anybody else hurt, not an adult, not anybody involved in this family in any way. That's Lori Russell and Colleen Lyon of Hands Across New York, a group that formed on Facebook a few years ago to be a voice for abused children, including those who died at the hands of someone who should have been protecting them. They want to know what's taking so long. Kaylee Castle died February 22nd. The DA told them his office and the sheriff's office wants to make sure they get it right before filing a charge. And we all have the same desire, and the desire is to know who kills Kaylee and then hold them accountable. And we work on that every day. We're working closely with the sheriff's department. Uh, you know, they're heading up the investigation. It's ongoing. Now, tonight, the DA is saying there are no toxicology results back yet, but he says he has an idea of the direction this investigation is going. He wouldn't comment on reports that came out a week ago, reports attributed to law enforcement officers that said the baby was found with narcotics in her system. That's something the DA uh, is not confirming or denying tonight. The boyfriend, and our, let me start with the mother of Kaylee, Rachel Ball is charged with a, a drug charge, and so is her boyfriend, Joshua Bennett. Uh, ben is still locked up tonight. Rachel Ball is not, but she was noticeably absent from this protest tonight here in Fort Edward. Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.